Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. So today we're here to talk about NBA 2K20, but before we hop into that, I want to make sure you guys understand 3K likes is the goal. If you guys knock that out in the first day, I appreciate you guys. But check this out. NBA 2K20 attribute system is something that a lot of people are worried about in recent games 2k chose what we had to upgrade whether you were a 60 overall or whether you were a 98 overall going into 99 2k has always had the decision on what we wanted to upgrade now this has been going on for the last two years and a lot of people wanted to see a stop to that so today i'm here to let you guys know that i received a leak now i know what you guys always say them leaky falses ain't always true ipod what are you doing but i have somewhat of a reliable credible source for this leak now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this twitter message for a moment and i'm going to deep dive into this and then we're gonna see where we land at the end of this video so let's go ahead and hop into it so on a day in question july 11th i happen to be streaming on youtube or on facebook wherever i was for the moment somebody had came up inside the chat and let me know that somebody named toxic bangs had tweeted out something about the attribute system now i responded to that chat uh comment with i want to know if it's 100 true so i'm going to read this off to you toxic bangs on twitter is a verified account in which this player plays for the nba 2k league so this player may get his hands on nba 2k 20 early i'm not sure if that person got their hands on to it right then and there but i'll tell you more about that later in this video so this person said in nba 2k 20 the attribute system will be similar to nba 2k 17 to where instead of 2k19 the game chooses what you upgrade you can choose what you use your attributes upgrades on rather than the game choosing for you you will still have attribute caps depending on your archetype now in this tweet i got two confirmations one confirmation is definitely sure that the attribute system and archetypes are coming back to nba 2k20 which kind of verifies the road and path that Ronnie 2K was talking about inside of his interview when he was talking about archetypes and things of that nature. Now, the big thing that we are all worried about is the attribute caps and the ones that we choose available to us fully or will 2K lock them once again? Now, in this tweet, this person verified that you will be the person to choose your attribute upgrades on which means when 2k launches day one to get to whatever is 85 overall 200,000 vc later you will be able to choose what you can max out and not 2k so if i'm a play sharp i should be maxing out sharpshooting mid-range layups dribbling lateral quickness defense steals things of that nature so we're gonna see where this goes now y'all know who i am y'all know what i do when i make these type of videos i try not to stray away from the truth so what i did was i reached out to this person in the dm immediately like as soon as i seen the tweet i said you're shitting me let's go to the dm now i do have those dms on hand and i will be showing you guys but what I want to do first is I want to talk about it. You guys have seen my recent video about the new shot meter. Um, hopefully you've seen the new video about the grand badge thing. I want to address that inside of this video right now. The grand badge video that I dropped, I recently looked at the footage from the gameplay on the cell phone footage and everything like that. And that particular spot on the court had different lighting from whatever obstructions were inside the arena where the spot looked white and red so when a player's player circle is literally on top of that spot it makes it look like a grand badge so if i'm wrong about the takeover then i will take that hit so i'm just letting you guys know now if the grand badge does not come back i know y'all gonna come for me and i know a lot of people are gonna come for me in the comments but let's talk about the attribute system for a moment so if this person toxic bangs is correct if he's 100 correct then we are happy correct are you still happy 
with the grind to 99? Are you still happy with dual archetypes? Are you still happy with having to grind my career because of how so many my points it takes to upgrade your player? But I am happy if 2K does change it to this because there are going to be a lot of builds out there that when day one comes, it's going to be instant competition. And that's what I am really, I guess, ecstatic for. And the reason that I say that is people like Poor Boy Sin, Steezo, Um Davis, Cole, like all these guys that do great dribbling, Hank, like great at dribbling, going crazy, Cheese Hall. Like, it's so many dribble guys out there that I can name, Ben. It's, it's just so many. It's just so many. I watch so many different YouTubers and try to learn like what they do. Shit is damn near impossible, by the way, because I'm trash. But watching them do what they do, day one, when the game drops, they automatically get the ball control. They automatically can go into speed boost and automatically can buy all their dribble moves and be cooking at the park. It's going to be dope as hell while being able to shoot threes day one. And slashers, being able to slash and posterize, all you got to do is grind your badge a little bit. Being able to do that on day one, is huge to me because there are a lot of supplemental builds out there that started off trash they literally had to go to dual um takeover in order to be good like take my uh shot creating uh slasher or slashing shot career okay shot creating first shot creating first slasher check second from 2k19 that build when the game first dropped was a big w once they patched shot creators in the mid-range game and the layups couldn't get hit and dunks were missing my build instantly became a l so once that happened i had to think of something else i decided to make me a play sharp when i wanted to play in my free time on a uh, rec or if i had to handle the offense at the park then i created my pure lockdown rebirth and my pure lockdown rebirth was so good because i was able to put all his badges the hall of fame you know what I mean? Maxima, a lot of his bads were already done. He was 89 out the box, as you would call it. And I was having a lot of fun with that build. So just imagine people automatically having builds that they want to play with, like at end game stages, on day one with attributes that they can choose to upgrade. And as you go along, you can just upgrade the bull stuff that you don't need. Like why does a point guard need rebounding at a 91 overall? You know what I mean? Rebounding, literally, I believe nobody would even touch it. I don't think anybody would touch it. If you're a point guard, why would you even touch it until the end? You would never touch it. So I think it makes total sense that it gives players the advantage that they should have out of the box. Glass cleaners, max out the rebounding, max out the blocks, max out the steals, max out the lateral quickness. Glass cleaners really don't care about things like uh three point ratings and stuff like that okay some do if they got base 24 set shot 13 but for the most part a glass cleaner that just got their dual takeover literally is not worried about that they're really not they're worried about quick reflexes you know what i mean they're worried about their strength they're worried about other things than guards you know what i mean and i believe that everybody should have that choice on what they upgrade so with that being said it's time to go ahead and hop into the dm I want to show you guys this DM. I, don't, I didn't want to keep anything off the table. I want to make sure that you guys fully understand what I understood. All right. So let's go ahead and hop into the DM with Toxic Bangs. All right, guys. So immediately I hit up Toxic Bangs. I said, yo, so the 2K20 will have locks as you level up to 99, but you can choose what you upgrade, not 2K, right? With a question mark. He said, so this is what I'm hearing. Now, remember. In his previous tweet, he's basically tweeting that it's confirmed. So I said, okay, cool. He say, from a very reliable person, dot. He says, you will have attribute caps like this year, but instead of the game picking them for you as you level up, you will be able to upgrade the attributes you want. So I immediately responded with not confirmed because at this point, if somebody says, so this is what I'm hearing, I'm like, oh. I don't know about this one, Chief. But he said, I mean, what's confirmed 
until we actually play, you know? And then he says, it comes from someone within 2K though. So, I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I'm going to say that if it's coming from someone within 2K, because in this DM, it looks like he isn't too sure, but he's trying to reassure me that it's true. And you know how I am. Is it true? But you know what? If anything happens when 2K launches and we don't get to choose our own attributes, who will be the reason? I know for darn sure who I think going to be the reason. Toxic bangs. So with that being said, guys, it better be true, right? That's all I'm saying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely did because mm, 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 I love the speculation. But I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. The race to 600K is closing in soon. I believe we're like 4,000, 5,000 uh, subscribers away. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, make sure you hit that bell. Without that bell, I'm not sure if you're going to get the Nodi. And you know who I love. Nodi gang. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. This is your boy IKC signing out. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.